Today we're going to be talking about emergency procedures, right? So every day on this show we talk about investing in preventive measures, right? In case of an emergency in your house, what are the basic things you can do before you hand over that, you know, relative to a health official? So we have Della Duke, who's an occupational health and safety practitioner. He's going to walk us through, you know, what goes into the emergency kit. What are the basic CPR that you can do at home so that we can begin to save ourselves before we even get to the hospital? Good morning, Della. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Jifa and uh, David. Yes. I'm good. I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for being with us. You're so, welcome. Yeah. Talk to us a bit about, you know, emergency procedures and the kinds of things that we should have in our homes before we even get to the CPR. Okay. Basically, um, for emergency, medical emergencies, we are talking about things that we should do as first response mm -hmm. in an emergency. Okay. So we, we basically will talk about first aid. Mm. So uh, in our homes, um, <clears throat> We have a, an infant, so an infant is somebody who is less than a year old, mm -hmm. okay. so who chokes on an object, yeah. or maybe it could be a child as well, those children like to play with objects mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. So then when they choke, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Because it becomes an emergency right there and then, and then something needs to be done before even calling an advanced medical attention. Okay. So there's a, there's a process or what we we'll say there's a protocol mm -hmm. in which you go through in order to get uh, the first response to uh, an emergency. Okay. What's the process? But let's first look at the kits. You have the kits here. Okay. So, what so basically, the first um, aid box? this is a first aid box mm -hmm. um, which will prescribe to every home, office, and also uh, public places. Okay, so schools, schools, yes, churches, mosques, and all that. Okay. I will come to that when we, why we really need this uh, uh, training for uh, such uh, facilities or even for individuals. As, as. Mm. This kit contains uh, about 120 kit items. Okay. okay, so this is the first kit. in just and, tiny box. Yes, in this tiny box. <laughs> um, with, I'm sure, you, I'm sure each of you have a car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, I, I don't drive it, but <laughs> go so, ahead. So you have a you have a first aid box. You are supposed to have one in your car. Okay. Just in case there is an emergency. Okay. Not it may not be you, mm -hmm. but it could be another Somebody driver okay. or a passenger. Uh, exactly, and then you can attend to the person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this is a competent. I call it a competent uh, first aid kit mm -hmm. because it contains a lot. Okay. A lot. Usually, you find people use the the basic ones. You find a uh, um, maybe <clears throat> you find <clears throat> a plaster, mm -hmm. so you could, and definitely you need a scissors. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, your, the most essential stuff yes, you will need in your you box. You need a scissors, bandage, a scissors. bandage. You need a <clears throat> uh, face uh, mask or okay. shield. Okay. Uh, you also need gloves. Okay. So okay. here you have a glove. Okay. Um, you have a, this is a, a nice pack. Ah. Now what happens is that. If I squeeze this, it turns into ice. Hmm. Oh, wow. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. So when I squeeze it, it turns into ice and it, it, it can have an uh, its effect for can between. I feel that? Yes. In, in what cases but, would you need an okay. ice pack? Okay. When you have uh, a sprain mm. okay. or there's an amputation of a finger, okay. in order to preserve it, okay. you need an ice pack. Especially when you have a sprain. So you see that for footballers mm -hmm. on the pitch, mm. when somebody has. Uh, an ankle injury or an yeah. injury, so they bring the ice pack in there. Okay. So it is one of the, the, the necessary uh, items you mm. need in there. Uh, this you will not find in most of the general first aid kits. But it's very essential. It is very essential. You will not find, I can mm. guarantee you, you will not find this in most of the, the first aid kits. Mm. So, and then you have, um, this contains a glue as well. So let's say you are in, a, in an area which is uh, not lit mm -hmm. and you are driving. So the moment you have a, a reflection of a light on it, it glows, it shows that there's somebody ah, else. So okay. you put it on your neck and then you... Okay. So, and then um, we have the um, antiseptic, you have a, an alcohol prep pad. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have a sting reliever as well. Okay. So if you have a sting by a, an insect, mm -hmm. so use uh, this, use this to uh, relieve yourself for fair aid. It is also insertion. Now, um, there are certain allergies that people have. Mm -hmm. You can be uh, people... Things like uh, granite. Mm. Yes. Yes. It causes uh, what we call severe allergy and anaphylaxis. Okay. Uh, so you need.
to know how to go about it, especially when you have a severe allergy. Okay. That is one of the emergencies, one of the top emergencies that, uh, or, that we need to also look at, allergies, okay. but the severe type. Okay. Mm. Yes. And also bee sting. Okay. Sure, you've read in, in the news where people have had a uh, bee sting and then they, uh, they, they died. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, 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 it's one of the things wow. that we need. Okay. So the first kit is very, very important okay. in our homes. Uh, and, and in, in our offices, offices and, and all, that. all the public spaces. Yes. Now we have some mannequins here. Yes. Can you walk us through um, administering the CPR? And at this point, we're going to put them on the floor because if this were to happen in real life, yes. we'll be doing it on the floor. Yes. So yes. should we just go right ahead and place our mannequins here? How many do we need? Should we take okay. three? I think I'll use uh, oh. David and you. Okay. <laughs> okay. As well as part of the the demonstration okay okay so so we'll go so okay right okay all right so okay so where do we start okay so Directors. um basically mm -hmm. when somebody has what we we'll call maybe a sudden emergency say mm -hmm. heart attack cardiac arrest these two mm -hmm. or collapses Mm -hmm. Somebody can choke and collapse. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things you want to do, you go through a process. Okay. You assess the scene. You, you, you check for response. You call for help before you go through uh, and then check for breathing. And then before you can uh, maybe, if the, you know whether you have to carry out uh, a CPR or not, after checking for response and also checking for breathing. Okay. So before CPR can even take place, you need to ensure that Either the person is unconscious and is not breathing. How do you mm -hmm. check that? Uh, so, so we get that. So, first of all, if <clears throat> somebody collapses, mm -hmm. the first thing you want to do is that make sure the person is at a place where it is not cluttered, mm -hmm. as in it is free of any harm, mm -hmm. so that you don't uh, expose yourself any other person to, to additional ha okay. a, 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 a harm when you want to, even you that you want to be a, a help. Uh, to the to the victim, mm -hmm. so you check and make sure the scene is safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the next thing you do is that you you kneel by the person, okay. and we we for for such a thing, time is of essence to us. Okay. Mm -hmm. In every emergency, time is of essence. So first recognition of what the emergency is is critical. Okay. So you must determine what the issue is. Mm -hmm. So if you you kneel beside the person this way, so, on the so this side. is a full human okay. being mm -hmm. on the side. Okay. okay. A full human being. Okay. A so full human being. Mm -hmm. So on the side, mm -hmm. then you okay. tap and shout. Okay. You tap and shout. So, David, David, <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> okay. So now, what you want to do is to get a person's attention. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you hit. So exactly. Yeah. Is it the, uh, the shoulder? The shoulder. Okay. So okay. David, David, or Jifa. If, uh, can okay. you hear me? Okay. okay. Now, if there is no response, mm -hmm. now response could mean that the person is blinking, or maybe has can move the limbs, mm. okay. can talk back to you, okay, or can move uh, any of the limbs, or maybe a leg or arm or whatever. Okay. So, if you if can no if, reaction, exactly. Then there's a problem. Then there's a problem. Then you 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 can know that the person is unresponsive. Okay. This is where you tell if the person is responsive or unresponsive. Or not. Okay. So after this. Then if the person is unresponsive, the next thing you do is to call for help. Okay. That is where the 192, our new emergency line, comes in. Okay. So you call the 112, mm -hmm. and then definitely you to go through a dispatcher, mm -hmm. and then they will respond. So if you are alone, you call alone. So I take my phone if I am alone. But if I have other people around me, what I'll do is that maybe it is you that I'll call you, Jifa. Please call 112. Now, it is in, uh, important you actually give specific person specific duty. Because if you all of you, all of us are here, and then I say, please call 112, it will be nobody. Because everyone will expect the other person to do it. Yes. Okay. So okay. give a specific, a specific task instruction to a specific, to a specific person. person. Okay. So let's say in this uh, corporate setting, mm -hmm. maybe somebody in the office collapses then you know you know your workers so call if it is a, a color of address 
call the person by the car of dress and then point at the person. So the person knows that you are giving this specific instruction to me. Okay. Then, then you call for the help. Now, after that is done, so you, you are going through this process. You are doing this seamlessly mm -hmm. and with time as uh, time, being time conscious mm. as well because you have to do this. Mm. Okay. Now, in, in case of uh, cardiac arrest or sudden cardiac arrest, what you want to do is uh, make sure uh, the person gets attention to the heart or gets blood to the brain as quickly as possible okay or get the blood flow in the system as quickly as possible mm -hmm. because within four to six minutes mm -hmm. if the brain does not receive blood because the blood that is it's going there contains oxygen mm -hmm. and the the energy of the brain is oxygen and then glucose okay, okay. So if it lacks these within four to six minutes, the person will be brain, brain dead. dead. Okay. And that means you are virtually you, you dead. Okay. okay. Now, then I walk us through what we need to do. And our viewers as well, if you're watching us, the hashtag again is Breakfast Daily. The was of line is 0550585832. If you're outside Ghana, the country code is plus two three three. If you're receiving messages on our Facebook page and we'll try and read them before the segment ends. So what's okay. the first step? So after yeah. you're getting the response that is you've tapped. And then you have called with the person. Exactly. Okay. Jifa, Jifa, can you hear me? No response. Mm -hmm. You have called for help. Mm -hmm. One, one, two. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to check for breathing. Okay. Now, checking for breathing, you try and stare at the chest. Okay. Whether there is chest rise and fall. Okay. okay. In 10 seconds. So, and you can also double check by using the back of your palm and then sliding it. To see the, the yes. the so, breathing. whether you feel any warm breath. breath. Okay. Okay. Yes, and if none of these is is, is is positive, then you know the person is also not breathing. Okay. Now, in in if you are not a medic, usually we don't recommend that you uh, think about checking for pulse. Yeah, because you wouldn't. Know yes, so it's which a technical. Yes, exactly. For. So so we usually uh, uh, avoid maybe uh, demonstrating to people, people who are non medics sure. not to, to check for check, pulse. But okay. maybe for the sake of uh, mm -hmm. this demo, mm -hmm. I can. So for checking of the pulse. You put, mm -hmm. okay, so for, for adults, mm -hmm. you check what we call the carotid pulse here. Ah, okay. Yes, so, yes. So, so it's not even the wrist. No, 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 no. So, <laughs> so, so we check for, for, for carotid pulse. Mm -hmm. Now what you do is you put your hand here in the middle mm -hmm. and then slide it to this side. Okay. You will feel it. It feels very uncomfortable, yeah, but you so feel it. You slide it is that's the easiest way to, 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 to get it okay. Okay. because it's also technical that's why so uh, so if you David yeah. I put my hand here mm. and I slide you feel it yes so I'll feel the pulse but you shouldn't try this at home if you are not a professional yes, if you are not don't professional try and kill the person you don't, in the process <laughs> exactly, you don't, no because, yes it's technical you okay. may not be getting and you want to trade just check for breathing if okay. there's no breathing now if there's no breathing because the Response is negative mm -hmm. and breathing is also negative. Mm. You go straight to CPR. Okay. 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 Let's look. Let's, Let's do it. Now, so with that, that's the formula. So no breathing, unresponsive equals to CPR. CPR. Mm. Now, if one of these is positive, you then don't you, you don't do CPR. Okay. okay. So if the person, the, is, breathing, the person is, then? if the person is breathing, the person is alive, still okay. alive. Okay. If the okay. person has response and not breathing, the person yeah. is still alive. Okay. okay. So then for CPR, uh -huh. the what you do is that. CPR contains uh, two actions, uh -huh. or let me say procedures. Okay. So you do compressions uh -huh. and then give breath. Okay. 30 compressions and then two breath. Okay, let's go. So, but let me explain. Okay. You also want to do this compressions. You are supposed to do between 100 to 120 compressions in one minute. Hmm. Yes. So that is. So show us how does it uh, okay. show us. Show, so show it you put the heel of your palm mm -hmm. in your, uh, your the, the hands or the heels of the yeah. palms that you have. The strong, usually we recommend you put a stronger one first okay. before you support it with the. Okay. So if your right so hand, you use your right, right hand. If you're lefty, you use your left. So okay. uh, you put the heel here, locate your two nipples, uh -huh. and then just do a cross and then put it in the, in the, the middle. Center. No, don't don't go to the sternum okay because when you go a little closer to the sternum you may break it okay so just here it's here yeah. okay. so and then you put it in the middle this okay. way uh -huh. and then you support it with this one okay, okay. and then lock it we usually recommend you lock it so okay. then you push now these mannequins that we or that means that we are using uh -huh. have indicators okay. okay so if i see you are already compressing 
<laughs> <laughs> so just put your hand on it okay. like this mm -hmm. and then you go at a, a very steady rate mm -hmm. and then uh, we count as well okay. please remember counting is part of it okay, okay. so uh, let me demonstrate before yeah, for okay. you so go what ahead. i'll do is that so you're doing it the right way yes. so let's watch you so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty then i give you a breath I think I have a shield there that I would like to use there. In okay. the box. there this is, one? There. This, close to you. This one here. This one close here. to you. Yes. This? The face shield. No, the box. The, yes. <laughs> Thank you. The so, box. That's the shield. <laughs> so I'll give you one each. Okay. Oh, but for, no. because of the, for the sake of time, so, you just show us how it's so done. So after, after that, in giving off the breath, mm -hmm. in giving off the breath, now we are using a face shield because this is somebody you may not, you, you don't know. No, no. Okay. And this could happen anywhere okay mm. now there are things you can do to improvise uh -huh. so if you find maybe a rubber or pure rubber you just punch a little hole in there and, and then, then you just spread and it. then you okay. spread it and then you can now okay. in giving out the breath what you want to do is that you pinch the nose uh -huh. okay so that because if it is open when you blow the air it will it come back through exactly. the nose okay. now so you pinch the nose and then you tilt or lift the chin and then tilt the head okay, okay. this way if you do not do that, there will not be any, it will not be effective breathing, okay. breath giving. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> I've given you one. Yes. What I would like you to do, do not tilt there. Just put it and then try blowing and let's see if it rises. Okay. Okay, so I pinch. Yes. And then I blow without tilting. Yes, yes, just blow. It doesn't rise. Okay. Okay, now, now tilt the chin. Good. Oh yeah. So this is this is actually yeah, that's the, what you would do. Exactly, that's exactly, exactly, in, exactly. That's in what you do. So life okay. Things. So exactly. after you have done uh, your thirty compressions, two breath. Now this is how you go about it. It has to be in succession. Okay. Mm. So in that manner. Okay. Then how I many, go back to how many two. breaths? Two. Okay. Two. Then I go back to. So CPR. you do thirty two. Exactly. Go back so let me complete the set. Okay. Now. Please go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So All right. we continue with this cycle. Four sets of 30. Exactly. In and, one minute. And four sets of two exactly. breaths so in one minute. So that will give you the 120 compressions in one minute. Okay. We can get up. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Dada Duke, thank you so much for walking us through this. Uh, where do we contact you on social media if we want to find out more information? Okay, more information. Uh, I and wanted, we're not doing before the, the infant because we did the infant last okay. week so, with, with a separate group. Okay, I wanted to mention uh, this device Okay. as part of the CPR. Okay. It's very, very important. Okay. It's called uh, an AED, okay. Automated External Defibrillator. This is... Uh, this is an automated external defibrillator. <clears throat> it's Some part of the, the CPR the process. Mm -hmm. Press the green on off button. It's part of the, the CPR process. Now, the manual CPR we have done gives you chances of resuscitation between 20 to 45. Now, adding the AED, yeah. that is the automated external defibrillator shoots that chance to 80 to 100 percent wow okay now that is it is very important because in a case of cardiac arrest you need to get the heart to pump mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so this device that is what it does okay. now you find that it's the same thing that you find in a hospital the device they used to do pump here okay. exactly so we have the portable one which you can carry across mm -hmm. okay so in the ambulance there's one yeah okay I saw it actually. Okay. 
Okay. Yes. So this is so. Um, I wish we had time to. I think you will come back we'll and then we'll do. So so, a, so so it is so important itself. and it's so important. Okay. This device, I want to stress this device how important it is. Uh -huh two organizations okay mm. so i want you to come back and walk us through it the way we went through the manual one so very today well. we're doing the manual good and the next time you're here yeah, we'll, we'll do, do the aed one, one. Very well. is that fine very well but in the meantime where do we contact you on social media if someone okay, has questions on social media uh life support uh ghana okay. uh that's facebook uh we are also on the net www.lifesupportghana.com okay is there a number to call okay so the number is uh, 020 <coughs> 968 one, one, Okay, say it again. 020-968-1129. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Devaduk, for being with us. Thank you for having me. And thank you at home for staying with us. So now you at least know what to do when there's an emergency in your home, okay? So the most important thing is specifically ask someone to call yeah. the emergency number and yeah. then you go through the steps of doing 30. So four steps, steps of the 30 and mm -hmm. then two breaths yeah. so you do 30 you do the two breaths and then at least maybe the person can regain their consciousness yeah well thank you very much Dela, for for this and uh, we hope to have you back real soon to go through the other uh, the automatic um, external defibrillator hi there i hope you enjoyed the show don't forget to subscribe like comment and share with all of your friends this is breakfast daily on city team join the breakfast daily team monday through fridays from 7 30 a.m to 10 join us for breakfast daily only on city tv